Happy Sunday, everybody. It is around 11 o'clock and I'm just picking up the camera. Um, and I've taken a week off, which in a little bit I'll share why I took the week off. But um, I didn't stop filming. I actually filmed a couple things last week that are going to be inserted throughout this vlog. But yeah, it's Sunday. Steven just left for a walk with Bubba's. We got a little bit of a storm last night. It's so beautiful though. I love winter. I really, really do. I'm having some coffee. Like I said, it's going on 11 o'clock. I didn't vlog much this morning because Steven and I are catching up. Steven was out of town from Friday, January, uh, it might have been like the 10th or 11th till this weekend. He just got home yesterday um, and is just settling back into life. Um, I'll let him tell you where he was at, but that's one of the reasons I didn't vlog last week because I've been alone all week and I just like use the time to like rest and hang out and all those things. Um, but yeah, that is what is going on. I will let him tell you about the adventure that he was on last week and yeah, it's gonna be a pretty low key day because I'm probably not gonna leave the house. Steven ventured out with Bubba's, but I'm gonna kind of keep it, keep it in here today. One thing that I've been doing the month of January is, well, a couple things I've been doing the month of January is one, I am still on my um, yoga with Adrian journey. It's now day, what is it, 19, day 20? I can't keep track anymore. Um, but I'm absolutely, absolutely loving it. And then the other thing that I started doing, I think on the third, is intermittent fasting. So at 11, I will eat, but I don't eat from 7 to 11, um, 7 p.m. to 11 a.m. And I'm really, really enjoying it. I feel like a lot of clarity and energy, oddly enough, from it. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking it. I haven't weighed myself, so I don't know like if I'm seeing any results in that aspect, but I'm actually just doing it just kind of like cleanse and detox and um, just feel good. And I usually don't have a chance to eat anyway during those hours. So it's working out quite easily. <sighs> I feel like I just talked without taking a breath, which Adrian would be mad at me because it's all about breathing, isn't it? So yeah. That's what's going on. I think I'll go ahead and cut away to a recipe that I'm loving. Thank you, Christy Dickerson, for this idea. I will leave her Instagram link down below and any other information about her. But they're called Burger Bowls and they were delicious. For lunch today, we are going to be making Burger Bowls. So I have one large shallot, just browning, and then I'm going to get some organic grass-fed beef and brown that and crumble it as well. I love butter lettuce, so I have, might as well just do all of it. So I have some butter lettuce in my salad spinner. This one's the Martha Stewart brand, but any salad spinner, just make sure you wash your greens. Um, going to go ahead and get those rinsed off and dried. For toppings, you could really use whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna use the butter lettuce. I wish I had a tomato, but I don't. I am gonna take some of these pickles like these hamburger style pickles and just stack them up and cut them in half. And what's great is I can use all of this for lunch this week too. I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado to this. I'm just gonna dice this up into some smaller pieces. So basically this is what I'm going to do. I put a little bit of the butter lettuce in here. I'm gonna put the hamburger, the pickles, some of the avocado, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of ketchup on top, and I'm gonna have like a burger right here in a bowl easy lunch, and then I'll split these ingredients up and use it for at least lunch tomorrow as well. I'm going to add a little bit of this avocado. I'm basically gonna add all these pickles. A little bit of mustard, and a little bit of ketchup. And I'm having a burger in a bowl. So basically anything you would want on your burger, throw on here. You could add some extra raw onions, anything. Um, yeah, so this is lunch for today. What are you doing? I am um, docking Roomba. We're having problems with the dock. It doesn't want to dock and it's not charging. So I am resetting it and hopefully it will charge now. 
So we're having um, Roomba issues. <clears throat> Roomba hides under the chair when she's not cleaning. That Bubba's and Roomba do not get along. But they don't not not get along. They don't not not get along. They just ignore each other. Um, do you want to tell everyone where you were the last week? Um, I was in Joshua Tree National Park hiking and backpacking. Ugh. For an entire week. Where did you sleep at night? Um, I slept, well, we had five nights out in the wilderness. Uh, four of the nights I slept on the ground in a sleeping bag and it was freezing cold because it was freezing in the desert. And then one night I actually found a cave and I slept in the cave. He, Where? on the other hand, was sleeping in bed with you and never sleeps outside. So Ooh, we were cuddly and warm and it was lovely and amazing. And so basically I had it worse than an animal. But I had fun. It was it was entertaining and I liked it and it was challenging, which is good. Everyone should try something outside their little box once in a while. Also, we just got informed that there's another front of Lake Effects now. I don't think you can see it. It's actually coming down pretty hard. Um, but for some reason, the camera's not picking oh, it up. Yeah, the camera's not picking it up, but it is actually coming down hard, and I think we're supposed to get another five inches this evening. A lot of you have been asking what planner I'm going to be using for 2020. I actually started setting it up and using it this past week, and it's the Start Planner. And let me go ahead and cut away to some footage of me getting mine ready to go. So Start Planner sent me some things. Um, actually, I was talking to Jenny. Um, who is one of the creators along with Christy Dickerson, who I absolutely adore. And they really kind of let me select what I wanted. So one thing I am trying is their Start 90 Days of Start um, journal. So it's like a quick little um, vision board calendar habit tracker. And it's broken down into 90 days instead of like a calendar like monthly calendar so there is each week along with the days and then a place to log every day i'm actually going to be starting this tomorrow um, and it's going to kind of be my health and fitness wellness journal but then i picked a 2020 planner as well i also got a couple other goodies so i got this really cute weekly notepad I love these things because they click in and then you can attach documents that you want permanently in your planner. So I really, really love these. And then I got a couple sets of stickers. They also have this habit tracker that you can use with these stickers. I think I have an extra one laying around um, that I like to attach to here, but it was sold out online, but I want to get one desperately. And then here is the gorgeous 2020 Start Planner. I mean, it is stunning. I have walked through this planner so many times, but it is still the most comprehensive, most beautiful planner there are a handful of planners that I absolutely love that are maybe not as well known as others, but that would be the Start Planner, my Infinite Agenda, Kit Life Planners, and Ashley Shelley Planners. They're so amazing. Um, I'm going to leave all of them linked down below, but I think this is the one I'm going to dive into for 2020. I haven't started filling it out yet. I literally just opened it up, but here is my vision board and I wanna do my vision board different than I've done in the past. So instead of clipping magazines and putting it together, I actually did it in um, PowerPoint, but I'm afraid I might've got the dimensions wrong and it might not fit. I might have to trim it down a little bit, which bums me out. But this is what I'm thinking for my vision board. I love how much cleaner it looks doing it in PowerPoint. And then you can also get truly what you want in it. Um, I might have to make some adjustments to that. And then here is the spread. So you have your monthly calendar, which the boxes are so nice and large. And then you have, hold on. And then you have your daily or weekly spread. So it goes from 5 a.m. till the end of the day, a place to prioritize. I really, really like this layout. It's one of my favorite layouts. And yeah, this is the planner. I absolutely love it. 
I really want to get these in here though, so I might need to do a little trimming. All right, I'm gonna fiddle with this and see if I can get this to work. Thought I'd give you a quick home update. So I have this rug that so many of you love and I had the matching like 12 or 14 foot runner running here in my kitchen and I finally took it away. I spilt red wine on it and it was shot. I mean, it lasted a good three, four years with a lot of heavy traffic, a lot of spills, but it was just on its last leg. So I did pull, and I love these. If you've never bought one, um, they're at Target. This one was in my laundry room and I just moved it out here. Um, but it's like an anti-fatigue mat. But if you see them online, so many of them are like plastic and foam. This one has like a very nice fabric herringbone. I'm sure Target still has them, but they're not where like the rugs are. They are like where the table runners, placemats, that stuff is. They are always there, but this is my favorite one. It's so soft, it's so comfortable. I think it's about, oh, maybe $30, but it's perfect. So I just put this here by the sink, and I actually kind of really love how clean and open that looks because I also did away with the Novogratz rug that I had here in the entryway. So it's just like a lot of open hardwood floor. All right, other house updates. I bought this before Christmas, but never got around to setting it up. I've seen it so many times online and I've always shied away from getting it because I was like, mm, it's too expensive. Maybe it's not all it's cracked up to be. Can I tell you, my friends, this Era Diffuser is my new favorite thing. If I was doing a favorite things video right now, it would be it. So it has an app which also shows the art of the cartridge that you currently are using. So I'm gonna turn it on really quick. Now, let me open this up. So you know how when you use some of your diffusers and like the scent lingers from another one and then it mixes with the new one? These don't work that way. So you have these canisters and every time you plug in a new canister, it's a whole new scent. There's no mixing, there's no lingering residue from previous oils. These are also all pet friendly. You stick it in, watch this, you stick it in part way and then it lowers in the rest of the way. Then from your app, you can do a couple things. You can set timers for it. So if you wanna add timers, you can say what time you want it to go. From the app also, you control the level of fragrance that you want. I always keep it between five and seven. You can turn it off. It tells you how much you're remaining scent is left in the cartridge or life is left. They say you get between 508 hours of scent from one cartridge. Yes, I just love it. It's such a cool diffuser. It really does throw the scent. I'm thrilled with it. Another little house update that I thought I would share is I had bought this huge bowl at Goodwill a long time ago. So I think I don't remember how much I bought it for, but the inside was in such terrible shape, but I'm never really gonna put anything in it. I threw a coat of Martha Stewart acrylic craft paint in like a creamy beige, and it covered in about three coats, and I love how it looks, and it pulls in that white, creamy color that I need for in here, and also has the gold. The inside was in rough shape, and I've fixed it just with a coat of paint. I'm telling you, Goodwill is where it's at. All right, those are some fun home updates. I also think there'll be a couple more fun home updates coming as well, specifically maybe for this space. I'll keep you posted on that. All right, my friends, I think I'm going to call this vlog a day. Um, Steven is upstairs napping. He is utterly exhausted. Um, from his week adventure, but I could not be more proud. Um, while he's been napping, I've been reading. I'm gonna show you what I've been reading. Um, and I'm just starting Grace and Frankie on Netflix, one of my favorite shows, love Lily Tomlin, love Jane Fonda. I am reading Miranda Popke's book, Topics of Conversation. It's a novel, it's conversations um, between women, conversations that women are having with themselves. 
Um, it's very much a feminist book. It's so, so good. The writing is so intellectual and cerebral. It's just fantastic. I'm loving it. I'm pretty much done with it and I started it yesterday. Um, I'll probably be done this evening. So couldn't recommend it enough. Um, if that's your type of thing, you will love it because I am loving it. Couple other favorite things currently are Halsey's new album, and I've never been a Selena Gomez fan, but I am loving her new album as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's going on. Not left the house today. It's still snowing, and I'm gonna end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone, my friends. Until next time, which might actually be tomorrow, maybe, if I can get it done. Ah, uh, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.